What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Critical Overlord here. So we're going to be talking about the upcoming horror projects that might be impacted due to the unfortunate now double strike that is occurring out in California. The double strike unfortunately commenced with the actors joining the writers and of course several productions are already feeling the effects. One in particular is Chucky season three but I'm also going to touch on a couple of others in this video mostly Chucky though but I was also going to share uh some details regarding chucky season three that i haven't seen officially announced from any outlets regarding a new series regular that has joined the project uh so details were sent to me from a database that has started flagging some upcoming projects with the amptp lettering uh, the alliance of motion pictures and television producers and the fact that these certain ones are flagged again must be a way to communicate that they are also involved in halting their production some of which hadn't even started so chucky season three i'm assuming shot six of the eight episodes that were set to air this fall i've talked about the episode titles in my last chucky video recently but a crew member over on instagram under a post from an account called chucky updates did state that it's not fake news in regards to them pausing and as of today we are shut down on shooting season three a very unfortunate turn of events but i'm curious if the episodes that were filmed are still going to air especially since that same crew member said that they may air the finished episodes but who knows and by the time this is all resolved man Mancini and his Chucky family could conclude this story in a movie or two if season three is aired in an incomplete way and by the time this is all resolved perhaps instead of just finishing those two episodes maybe you just work on a new movie maybe that bring all of the kids back together bring all of the characters from the first two seasons back together any legacy stars you want to and make one or two grand finale movies to end the series on a high note now, the bit I wanted to get into regarding the series regular, because I've seen some people mention this person's name, but Jackson Reed Kelly seems to be a cast member for Chucky season three, because not only did Barbara Allen Lynn, who is Lexi's mom on the show and in real life, mention him on her Instagram story recently. But if you check his resume on Actors Access, this confirms that he is a series regular for Chucky. Now, if he's a series regular, it couldn't have been for season one and couldn't have been for season two. So he must be a series regular for season three. I would assume he is going to be our Nadine replacement, but we'll just have to wait and see how that all unfolds. But yes, Jackson Reed Kelly, he seems to be a series regular for Chucky season three, according to his updated resume over on the uh, over on the database that is listing his official resume. Now, in regards to these other horror projects that are sadly also impacted welcome to dairy is another project that seems to be on pause due to the strikes we know this is the pennywise prequel show to andy's two big movies from 2017 and 2019 it chapter one and it chapter two that project being paused isn't too much of a worry to me since it wasn't supposed to come until 2024 so if it's delayed till 2025 at the latest i'll be fine Although the sooner the better, because I do want more Pennywise. I need my Pennywise fix, but not as much as I was looking forward to Chucky season three. No official announcements have been placed out or released regarding these projects being on pause. But the database that I've been shown has that series flagged with the AMPTP -A lettering, which all but means it's on pause because this lettering allegedly wasn't even in this database until just recently. So we know the show is supposed to dive deeper into the origins of Pennywise and the town of Derry and offer us a Stranger Things vibe with a new group of losers. There's been some very cool behind the scenes images and uh, footage released, missing child posters around the around the set, filming out in Canada. Hopefully this wait is worth it because I also know people were still up in arms about the lack of Bill Skarsgård. Again, Bill Skarsgård could easily still be a part of the show and film all of his sequences last. Uh, shooting out of order is a thing. It happens more often than you think. The very last project I want to touch on that seems to be paused is Final Destination 6 Bloodlines, another unfortunate project that is on pause accor according to this database. This is the project that was set to start shooting later this month in Canada. It's revolving around a girl named Stephanie who's trying to save her family from death and learns her grandmother Esther saved a whole bunch of people from a tower collapse decades ago and death has been working its way up to them since a lot of families have existed that shouldn't have thanks to Esther's intervening all those decades ago. Now, there were never any official cast casting announcement that had come out about the project, and I suspect none will until much later now, but I've talked about the scrap plans regarding the EMT story a bunch recently, and I've dived into some story details about the Esther film we're getting since audition tapes are just out in the public for you to watch if you so please. But 
again very unfortunate those are the three major horror projects that i've seen impacted by the strike according to the databases and another one is coming from a crew member however of course the other project that many people have on their mind is scream 7 <laughs> scream 7 was already pretty much on pause so i think honestly at this point we weren't too concerned if that was on pause that was pretty much just like okay that's another hurdle for scream 7 scream 7 already had the hurdle with the scheduling conflicts of its stars the writer strike and now adding on the actors on strike you know it's just more hurdles for scream 7 and with scream 7 i think a lot of us who are well aware that it's gonna happen that's the plan we're just like okay we'll win it's more of a game of win we know scream 6 was successful enough to warrant a 7 so it's all coming down to win but we'll just have to continue to be patient hopefully everything with the strike can be resolved in a timely manner hopefully everyone can understand where each other is coming from and come to a very satisfying agreement for every everyone involved because I know everyone wants to be fairly compensated. Everyone wants to feel respected. And, you know, these people are the reason we have the entertainment that we have. They're the reason the entertainment industry even exists, the actors and your writers. At some point or another, everyone's going to have to come together, recognize that we need to work together. But, you know, if some ends are not going to want to compromise with others, then we're going to be in this situation for a long foreseeable future. And there's really not going to be an end in sight. And with the AMPTP, threatening to or the, not the amptp but the major studios involved threatening to basically hold out not even threaten they seem very confident in themselves uh could be scare tactics that they're saying they want to hold out until the writers start losing houses and can't even live you know very evil tactics there scare tactics could be them admitting that they know they don't have as much leverage with the actors now joining the writers but again everyone will have to come together come to a resolution or else we'll be on the verge of a hollywood collapse which some people out there who probably are listening to this are good are much more pleased with than against because they hate hollywood and hate the entertainment that we get these days you guys so let me know what you think about this down in the comment section below if you haven't already of course make sure you subscribe turn on post notifications so that you never miss a video in the description i will have links on my social media accounts i'm on facebook twitter and instagram as well as threads you can message me there of course let me know if there's any movies news or reviews i'm going to cover in the future and with all that in mind guys i will see you in the next video